Hello everyone, it is Mr. Stubstep, and today I have a very simple opening. It's just an octet. We got four sleeved boosters, so let me open these things up. All right, so it's very rare that the sleeve booster artwork matches with the internal booster pack artwork. I wanted to get at least one of each artwork, so I think... And then with the one Mew... Okay, I got at least one art set, so that's kind of cool. So, I really know the order doesn't really matter, but let's get into these. We'll see if my luck can continue with Fusion Strike because, to be frank, it has been crazy ridiculously good. So, all these codes are backwards with the new code, so I'm going to be giving some upside-down codes for the people. So, a little bit of extra work, unfortunately, for y'all if you guys are even taking codes. This set is massive, but it doesn't have as many of the higher rarity cards as you think. Because after one booster box, I was actually able to get to 70% Elisa Sparkle Dove, get the full art of that. Beautiful Arcanine. But yeah, please, let me know how you guys have been doing. My, most, my booster box opening of this was quite amazing. And then I've had just some other openings with amazing pulls. Um, I'm hoping that you guys have had the same luck, or, or maybe you're passing on Fusion Strike. That's fine, too. Waiting for Brilliant Stars that's coming out next year, featuring those V-Star cards, which... Some of them look pretty cool, and some of them are okay. I'd love to get at least one ultra rare or higher Crocana and a Dodrio. Nice. It's kind of cool that Dodrio getting some love. No reprieve during your next turn. This at Pokemon's attacks do 80 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, so you use this attack for 20, and then the next time you can do 100 or 240 with some 30 damage recoil. Interesting rapid strike Pokemon. Centering is, oh my gosh, top to bottom. But one ultra rare, keep me happy. I don't mind pulling duds for the rest of these packs. But yeah, in case you guys weren't aware, I am going to attempt to collect the master set of this set. I don't know how long it'll take me, but I'm now on that crusade. So it'll be something pretty special. I have some... 12 pocket binders on the way, I think from Vault X is their branding. Chandelure V? Hey, 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 hey! Confused Ray, okay, that one's self explanatory. Poltergeist, or Poltergeist. Your opponent reveals their hand. This attack does 40 damage for each trainer card you find there. Ooh. So you see them setting up or something? You can sneak in something like that. No, it doesn't sound amazing, but hey, something. 2v cards. Okay, that's not bad. We'll take that any day of the week. I think I got four of these from a Walmart and four of these from a Target. I don't know if you guys ever see, like, packs that are kind of, you know, all over the place or whatever. Sometimes I just feel, you just kind of look and you're like, I feel some magic with this pack. Or maybe it's the last pack on a certain rack or something. I don't know. Ooh, Pangoro. That's a nice artwork. But yeah, I have been selling cards on TCG Player, and I'm now a level 2, which isn't, you know, something crazy to say, but I'm very proud of myself for making it to that level. Breloom, and a Mew... <sighs> Mew-V. So this is a Rita artwork right here. It's nice, but it's actually my least favorite Mew artwork within this set. I think the full art looks better, I think the VMAX looks better, especially like the alternate art V, and then the alternate art VMAX is really cool too. This is actually my least favorite, but I don't have it in my collection. I don't have any of these in my collection, so knocking out a lot of those bulk V cards, except I don't think the Mew V is a bulk V card, but I imagine the Dodrio and the Chandelure probably are. I can't remember what Chandelure VMAX looks like, but I think I am still missing a couple uncommons after that booster box, which I find pretty funny because normally that never happens. But yeah, I'm level two on TCG Player which isn't saying anything crazy, but it's just exciting to finally be, you know, cycling through some cards, getting more credit on there, and then I can just put that money towards more set completions, you know? It's a, a vicious cycle. Voltorb and Azumarill. Okay, I don't have this rare. Let's look at that. Azumarill just walking on the dock, some boats in the background. Cool. Well, we got three packs left, three ultra rare, three V cards. Cannot complain about this opening at all. I actually, also recently traded with somebody they reached out via email i do have my email and discord link down below and i think their name was sharky sailor and they reached out and they're like hey i want to trade with you and i was like okay sure why not so 
hit each other up on Discord, send a few photos, what we had for rolling a trade. They actually have an amazing collection that features a lot of black and white and X and Y cards. And I'm somebody that has like one of every single card and then like all the bolt cards, I have like a play set and that's it. So I didn't have too much to trade, but we ended up working something out. So whenever that comes in, I should be able to show that in a video, Clay Doll. But that was kind of exciting. You know, I've never, I've traded in person, but I've never traded like online or, you know, not in person. So it'll be a new, a new adventure for me. I'll keep you guys updated on that. And then I'm just excited to play those new Pokemon games. I mean, I know they're remakes, faithful remakes, but I'm excited to put some hours into Diamond and, you know, just start anew. It's been a while since I played the Generation 4 games. Before Sword and Shield, Generation 4 was the game that I put the most hours into. Electrode Reverse Rare. I don't think I have this Electrode. And a Swampert Hollow. I don't have this one either. Nice. Muddy Maker. Once during your turn, you may attach water energy or fighting energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. I wonder if that's paying homage to Swampert's Mega. Maybe? I don't know. Final pack. A little uh, bent Gengar pack. We'll see what we got. We'll see what we got. These are still those United Kingdom and... I almost said California and Canada packs, which is interesting. I feel like they've been known to be slightly glossier. But yeah, please let me know down below. Everyone that comments, you know, I, I'm generally really good at replying. My channel's still small enough to where I try to reply to everybody. Ooh, I like this card a lot. I got it in reverse holo last time, but this one's real nice. A lot of a lot of cards within this set got two artworks, like Ninetales has two artworks. I think the other Ninetales is that uncommon. And Vulpix got two artworks as well which, hey, I'm not complaining, ball toy, and the final pull of this eight-pack Fusion Strike opening is an Oricorio. Definitely pulled this one before, but not bad at all. So, please let me know what you guys think. Let me know what is going on. It doesn't have to be TCG-related. It doesn't even have to be video game-related. Just let me know what you have going on. I'm always down for some conversation in the comments. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If it's your second video of mine or more, consider subscribing. You know, if you keep clicking on my videos and the button down there hasn't been pressed, then just consider it. If you like what you saw, leave a like. And if you don't like what you saw, I guess you can leave an angrily worded comment or a dislike. But, you know, the dislike button numbers don't reflect as much anymore. I mean, I can still see them on my end, but yeah. But that is pretty much all I have for this video. I will lead you guys right into a recap.